Farah, uh, you're one of the best uh, passers of the game in the WSL. Um, you, you play in a lot of like uh, non-league men's grounds and synthetic per uh, surfaces. So, what would it be like playing on this pristine surface, and how would that affect the game and the, the passes that you look for? I think both sets. Of t I mean, individually, I, it's a turf that I certainly like to play. We train on turf like this at uh, Arsenal training ground, so we're used to this type of turf. Likewise, Chelsea, they train at the Chelsea men's training ground. So I think both sets of teams, you know, will be looking forward to playing on a decent pitch, a nice pitch in front of a, you know, hopefully a fantastic crowd. And uh, you started your career at Chelsea. Uh, could you just explain briefly the difference between the club you left and the club that Chelsea is now? How much has it changed? Yeah, it's massively changed. They're now competing. I was at a Chelsea team that, yeah, I needed to leave at the time because I needed to kick on my international career and the level they were playing at wasn't in the Premier League at the time, so it was the league below and we just weren't good enough to, to get ourselves promoted. We would always finish second, so, yeah, I had to, I had to leave just to, to better myself and, and, and move my career on. But, the, yeah, the, the tables have turned and now they're at the top of the league and league champions and, and doing well and, and well supported by the men's team. And uh, you've played here with England and Team GB, and you're one of the most experienced players in games. Uh, do you, will you have any personal, any words of advice for the younger players in the squads like Leah Williamson, Dan Carter, Craig Kelly? No, just enjoy it. I mean, I, the only thing I can tell them is that you know, as kids, just think about you know when you was on the streets playing, you know, you Wembley knock out Wembley, you know, score you go through, you get to the next round. Those type of moments, you know, you dream of playing at Wembley in an FA Cup final, and it was only a dream many years ago for me. It's never. I think playing at Wembley in an FA Cup will be a reality. So for me now to be able to play an FA Cup final at Wembley is a reality. Yeah. So you've just got to enjoy the occasion, not, not get overwhelmed by it and, and not let the excitement get to you because all that wasted energy that you don't need to, to do. So yeah, just be, enjoy it, relax and don't get too excited because you don't want to drain yourself with energy. And finally, uh, uh, Kick Out are about to launch a campaign called Click It Out to combat online abuse on social media and Twitter. Is that something you've ever faced and uh, how does that affect you? I haven't faced it. I mean, I, you, you get the odd, the odd comment, especially when you leave one club and go to another club. There will be, be people out there that will, that will have something to say about that in a negative way. Um, but yeah, I just want to go straight past it and, and forget about it. They want you to get involved, they want you to comment back, they want you to say something back. You know, it feeds them. <laughs> but no, I'm somebody that a little bit more experienced, a little bit more mature, and, and scroll past it. So it'll be a good thing. Hopefully, you know, hopefully it works, and um, we can get these idiots, which is what they are, off off social media, where you know people are really only on it to try and, especially in our game, try and promote our game. Thank you. Thank you.